Hello, this is Timothy Perfit from Two Canoe Software, and I want to talk a bit about how you can use a web server built into MDS or um, some other web server to be able to um, share out the resources to use for um, installing Mac OS packages, scripts, profiles, and any other kind of resources. Um, right from a disk image that's hosted on a and on, our, on a web server. I want to highlight the web service that's part of MDS, built into MDS3, um, because it, it provides uh, some, some uh, good functionality uh, and very easy to set up. So I created a workflow in MDS3 um, that goes ahead and it, it uh, installs uh, Mac OS, it has uh, some packages, it has uh, Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Office, Monkey, Scripts, um, that it uh, sets the desktop pattern, a policy, it has some profiles that enrolls in Jamf. Um, so uh, it, uh, it's all ready to go. I even create a user called TC Admin. I think I enroll in Monkey Report, um, joins the Wi Fi. So it does all of these different settings. In fact, I think it, it also enrolls or uh, uh, configures the Monkey client. So it does a whole bunch. But instead of using a thumb drive to be able to deploy these resources by booting to recovery, what we're gonna do is serve this up through a web server. So uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll save the workflows to a disk image. So I'll go to save disk image, and it names it what the name of the workflow is, but I'll make this something simpler. We'll just call this uh, uh, workflow.dmg, uh, or just workflow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it. I put a folder in, uh, in my shared folder, under web. Okay, and I'll call it workflow and I'll just save it. And what that does is it combines, it, it takes, instead of saving uh, all the resources and packages, the Mac OS installer to a external drive, it saves it to a disk image. So it takes, creates a blank disk image, uh, HFS plus formatted, then saves all the resources on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that image, um, put it, in, it's going to be saved to a folder that's going to be shared out through uh, a web server. Um, so I'll, I'll let this finish and then I'll come back and kind of show you how to set up the web server and then uh, actually set up a client using that disk image. All right, the disk image is now saved. And if I look in uh, that same shared folder under web, you can see I now have a workflow.dmg. And that's the same as an external drive would be, but it's now in a disk image. And it's in this folder web that's in my user shared folder. So if I open up uh, MDS and I go to the work, uh, the new web service in MDS3, this uh, is built on top of Apache 2, which is built into Mac OS. Um, and I just unlock it because it requires administrator rights to do this. And uh, since I'm using Monkey and Monkey Report, those services are, are automatically managed by MDS, but we're gonna add a new folder. And this folder is gonna be web, so it's gonna be in this user shared web folder. And I'm gonna share this whole folder. And it's gonna be over port 8088. 80, 80, I'm not gonna use TLS because it, it's not possible to mount a disk image uh, through a cell sign certificate um, from a recovery partition. Um, so I'll allow directory listing, just, it's not necessary, but it'll be able, I'll be able to show you kind of that the image is there for your web. And we don't need PHP. And so we'll just click on OK. And what that does is it, uh, once we clicked OK, it, it restarts the Apache web service or reloads it um, to make that available. So it takes, you know, 30 seconds or so to make those resources up and, up and available. So if I click on this right arrow key, and usually Safari changes it to HTTPS, so let me just open up a private window and now we can see that it's here and so this workflow if i copy this link will now be the link to uh the, our resources and so my server is mdscentral.local colon 8088 slash workflow.dmg so that's going to have all the resources and we can use that uh, in the recovery partition without having to have a thumb drive to plug in and, I'll, and after we do that i'll show you how to automate it with the autonomous time which is is really cool so um, I will go next to the, um, so next we're gonna go over to a Mac Mini that I have set up and show you how I can use that disk image to be able to actually image it. So the Mac Mini right now is booted. I held the option key down and I'm at the, um, I'm at the boot selector screen. So I'll just press Command R to go into the recovery partition. And once I'm in the recovery partition, I'll be able to uh, go ahead and mount that disk image, and then I'll be able to run the workflows right directly from that disk image without having to uh, um, 
have an external drive. Um, one of the big advantages of that is that you don't have to have that external volume around anywhere you're on the network, you can be able to do it. Um, one of the things you want to be aware of is that uh, because it's using the network, you're doing it over Wi-Fi or having a solid wire network is, well, is a consideration. Um, so it's almost always faster to do it with a uh, USB flash drive, but it's um, sometimes it's, it's not as significant if you have a good stable network um, to do it, especially if you're not doing a large number of clients. If you have a large number of Macs doing it over Wi-Fi, that can put a lot of strain on your network. Um, we've done that before, but with wired clients. Um, so just be con consider that when you're uh, when you're looking to play a large number of Macs. All right, so now I'm in the recovery partition. So just like we have with the automaton, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the terminal. And instead of just running the workflow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount that disk image. So I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. And the way you do it is HDI util, um, and then the, the verb is mount, and then we put the URL, http colon slash slash mdscentral.local uh, colon 8088 slash workflow. workflow.dmg and what that does it mounts a disk image and now you can see it's mounted under MDS resources um, so if I do an LS on volumes I'll see there's a MDS resources right there so in MDS resources is the actual command to run the workflow so all I need to do is to do slash volumes and MDS resources and run and so now it's running off the uh, it's connecting up to Wi-Fi and it's going to start running the workflow and I believe um, this workflow I set up to run automatically. So at this point, I don't need to do anything else. It'll take it from there and, and, and image the and image the machine, or um, depending on how you set it up, uh, use the macOS installer or use a um, ASR to, to image the machine. So um, I'll let this start up, and then we will go over and I'll show you how to automate it even further. All right, so now that that's working fine, I'm going to use my MDS automaton to run those commands for me. So I don't need to worry about uh, entering them in because we have to use the HDI utility command and then the MDS resources slash run to be able to do it. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to go ahead and click on automatons and configure. And put this in. And now it uh, opens up the, uh, the configure Mac automaton. And I'm going to change the command slightly because the name of that disk image is MDS resources. And so now it's going to run slash volume slash MDS resources slash run. But that still won't work because that's just running the command and there's no external drive plugged in. So we need to put that same HDI util command in that we did before. So HDI util command mount and then the URL, http colon slash slash MDS resources, or I'm sorry, MDS central at local colon 8088 uh, slash workflow dot DMG. And then I'll put uh, because it's two commands and I want it to mount that then run it, I do and and, which in, um, in it's a command lingo or shell lingo means if this command succeeds, do the next one. So it's going to mount the disk image. If the disk image mounts successfully, then it's going to run that start one and our, our, um, our uh, workflow will start running. So let me click on update. All right, so now I am ready to use this automaton to be able to fully automate the uh, setup for the Mac Mini that I'm going to be imaging. It's a 2018 Mac Mini. It could be a laptop. could be anything else. Um, so I have this uh, 2018 Mac Mini, and you can see I've, I started it up holding the option key down, so it's now ready to be plug the automaton in. I'll plug it into any available USB, uh, USB port, and it'll press Command-R to automatically um, start up into recovery. Then once it gets into recovery, it'll open up terminal and run that command um, that we specified in the configuration. Um, and the command mounts the disk image and then it will uh, run the workflow. So I'll come back when that's done and show you the, uh, uh, and kind of walk you through it. All right, so now it's the automaton is opening up the terminal. I'm not touching anything, it's timing it for me. 
So open up the terminal. Now it's going to run the HDI util command with the two ampersands to actually run the workflow. So there it goes. It's mounting it. So there you go. You can see it mounted it, and now it is running the workflow. Um, so it's completely without any manual uh, intervention, um, but and it is mounting it uh, from the web server here. Um, one thing is that I quit MDS, so MDS is not running anymore, and the web server continues to run in the background. Um, that's a new feature of MDS3. Um, so that shows you how to automate uh, the uh, workflows using a disk image. It's uh, not quite as fast as having a local drive with all the resources, but still, if, if it's a, a decent network, um, it's a very practical way to be able to deploy Max from that network-based disk image. So thank you for very much for watching. Make sure to click on subscribe so you get notified of all the videos, as well as make sure you click on like because it makes me happy and also lets me know that folks like these videos. Um, be sure to check out our product page at twocanoes.com slash MDS for the most updated information and join our Slack channel on Mac Admins um, for all the MDS goodness. It's, uh, it's I think, uh, hash twocanoes-MDS. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you later.